Hello everyone, welcome to today's video, and today we're going to be solving a circular motion problem in physics. The problem reads that a 30 kilogram child plays on a merry-go-round in the playground, and this child is 1.4 meters from the center of the merry-go-round, and it makes a revolution once every 5 seconds. The problem wants to know how large the net force is that acts on the child, and in what direction is that net force acting? So, we know that the net force is equal to mass times acceleration, which is equal to mass times velocity squared over r. However, we, don't, we aren't given a velocity. So instead we have this formula. Velocity equals circular angular speed times radius. So therefore, we can use this to plug angular speed times radius in for velocity, since we do kind of have a workaround for that. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. So for this, we're going to say mass is equal to, um, for v squared, we're plugging in angular speed times radius. So we get mass times angular speed squared times radius squared over radius, which is going to cancel out and just give us radius. So then we have mass times angular speed squared times radius. Well, the workaround I was talking about earlier is angular speed is actually equal to 2 pi over t. And we do have t. It's 5 seconds. So therefore, we can say that the force is equal to mass times angular speed squared times r. And we can plug in this formula right here for w which is our angular speed, and we get mass times 2 pi over t squared times radius. And solving this out, we get mass times 4 pi squared times radius over t squared. Now we can plug in. We have no mass, we know radius, we know radius, and we know time. So we have a 30 kilogram child. We have 4 pi squared. Our radius is 1.4 meters, and our time is 5 seconds. So square that on the bottom and we get 66.3 newtons. That is the force acting on the child. Now where this force acts, so this is our merry-go-round, right? And this is the center of the merry-go-round. Now I point out the center because no matter where the child is, the force acts towards the center. So if the child's here, the force is going inward towards the center of the merry-go-round. If the child is here, the force is also going inward towards the center of the merry-go-round. And that's the direction the force acts. And that is all for today's problem. Thank you, everybody. Have a good day. See you next time.